Welcome to EA Sports PGA Tour Golf. I'm Sonic and this is The Road to the Masters. EA Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to showcase the finest young golfers from around the globe. From Wolf Creek Golf Club in Mesquite, Nevada, live opening round coverage of the Desert Championship. This is gonna be a compelling four days of golf. A lot of storylines to follow as we move through the weekend and we take a look at the leaderboard here in round. And to the right of this par four, really there's a multitude of options off this tee. You could hit an iron, you could hit a fairway wood. Even some might try and hit a driver, but uh, you know that's a little too risky. There's too many, uh, too many problems up ahead if you try and take this all on. Really a short club off the tee, um, leaving yourself some area of 100. 70 yards and, and you're going to be putting for birdie more often than not. Well, that's on a pretty good line so far. Drivable par four, not for most in this field, but for this guy, yes, he has just knocked it on. What a shot. Second eagle of the day, this one coming here at 18. So an ideal day one for our featured golfer. Already three shots clear of the field after 18 holes. Three is so much different, Rich. You can afford to make a little mini mistake, so keep that in the back pocket. But just more importantly, the style and the standard of golf to see straight out of the gates. Slow, but that's pretty well done. Chance now for another birdie. Yes, I'm good playing here toward the end of the round. Birdie's at 16 and 17. And he moves to 15 under. Finishing our round at Wolf Creek with another short par four. 307 yard 18. Fairway wood or hybrid off the tee might be in order. The approach is the scary part here. Waterfall on the left, deep bunkers and rocks on the right, and a two-tiered green that will make for a tough two putt. What a display of power and precision off the tee. On the green here on the par four, in one. Okay, what a run here down the stretch. Birdies at 16, 17, and now here at 18. So will this be the week that our featured golfer claims that first ever title? Frank, it's looking promising through 36 holes. It is, and to just make that final leap to become a winner on the PGA Tour. Well, that's what's in front. It seems simple, but the last bit is the most difficult. EA Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to bring you this look at the future stars in the sport of golf. From beautiful and rugged Mesquite, Nevada, live third round coverage of the Desert Championship. Rich Lerner here in our tower overlooking the 18th green. Frank Navalo is by my side. Out on the course, we've got Nota Begay III and Iona Steven as we check 
the Saturday leaderboard. Our leader here on Saturday is our featured golfer. His cushion is a full four shots as he gets set to tee off. And that is a laser to start things out. And from there, he should have a chance to go for this opening green in two. That's what he wanted to do. After the tee shot, puts himself in really good position here on the par five. Okay, a well-played hole there. It is Brody to kick off the round. And he moves to 17 under par. 445 yard par four second hole. No mistaking where we are. Smack in the middle of the Nevada desert. And this round starting off strong after the birdie at the first. This in the fairway at number two. Call it 74 yards here as he's set for his second. Really in control of this hole. Birdie yesterday and another opportunity on the way. Yes, can ask Someone else to start the round than this. It is back to back birdies at one. Not and so good two. You know, He's got it to minus 18. This par three third here at Wolf Creek is a good one. 227 yards and it's uphill. All right, Frank, describe the third hole. Well, it's a par three with a bit of a tabletop green, Rich. Um, some bunkers right and left of that, but uh, also it's gonna play a little bit further. Uh, this tee shot is uphill, unlike the uh, opening two holes. So a three here, and that certainly won't hurt the uh, scorecard. That. Oh. Oh well. Oh right. So that, right. In, it's <laughs> far here at the third. And he's going to maintain that substantial lead. 383-yard fourth hole. Certainly not long, Frank, but there's plenty of trouble out there. Yeah, this is very much a positional hole. This is not sort of tee it up with a driver and just uh, rip it down and just find the fairway. He's going to have virtually just a short wedge, you know, nine on really at the most into this green. And uh, what? Really, this is a good chance for what? a birdie. So two good shots. And he shouldn't be too far away. Yeah. Yeah. No problems there. That's going to wind up safely in the fairway. <laughs> Walking the course today. Let's bring in. Note of the game. Oh, because he's parked in their place. Yeah. Five yards left to the hole. 
pin is very accessible here, right in the center of the green. Oh, that's not too bad. Good shot. Uh, inside 20 feet, I would imagine. So a good chance, really outside chance for Bertie. Now, just when you thought they might pick up one, now settle for a par. Okay, that one finished off. It's a par here at four. And that's going to keep this large lead right where it is. This is one of the signature holes here at Wolf Creek. Par 5 fifth is 490 yards, and you can get home in two and maybe have a story to tell when you're all done. Maybe an eagle three. This is turning a little to his left. That had to be in the rough. The whole way, one more bounce back on the fairway. Now, from way down there, a good look at a second. A nine hole. Hour and a half if you quit, but uh, hour and three quarters, he's two hours. He's playing well. He's gone to Chris Hill again. All right. And he's, a, he's on nine, nine, hole nine now. Yeah. So about hour and a half. You just just as it's getting dark. It's twilight, guy. It's twilight, isn't it? I think it's dinner. Yeah, it's good. Oh, you um. didn't want people cut chips. Chinkle, chinkle chat. Did you say chinkle chat? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Well, that one had to feel good. Yeah, it struck it so well. You could see that by the reaction of that ball when it hit the green. Landed so softly. Oh, yeah. That's how you take advantage of a par five. It's in for an eagle three. Superb. Frank, standing on the 6th tee and looking out at this golf course, I can't help but think that if you hit it offline, you're, you're going to be playing golf with the billy goats. Uh, yeah, you might actually turn into a billy goat come the end of the day, that's for sure. The huge elevation changes once again are apparent here at the 6th. Uh, it is a dog leg to the right, um, not really a driver unless you want to sort of uh, bring that creek into play or that little stream that cuts across. Second shot, a little bit uphill. Um, those bunkers are really where you shouldn't go, we all know that. And this green is anything other than flat. Uh, a fun looking hole, too, and a fun hole to play. A little over 80 yards here as he gets set for his second.
Well, Rich, I didn't expect this sort of uh, fireworks here today, but already with some birdies on the card and another one here by the looks of things. Okay, nicely played. That's in for birdie here at six. And he moves to 21 under par. Frank, a very short par four here at the seventh, but not one you're going to try to hit off the tee? No, if you, unless you can fly the ball sort of 300 yards on the nose and stop it within sort of five or six yards, it's really too risky. This green is not very deep, just sort of 10 or 15 yards in depth. Uh, it's just a layup hole, but uh, layup hole just, uh, it simply doesn't mean grab a club and hit it down the fairway. The best way to play it is to try and hit the ball right on the number. And what I mean by number, I mean the full shot yardage for your second shot, even if that only is a sand iron. Oh, not holding back. This is a big swing. Chance now for another birdie. That one just going to sneak on by. That one finished off. It'll be a par here at seven. And he'll remain well in control of this tournament. Frank, the par 3-8 really is Wolf Creek in a nutshell. It's hard, and it's really pretty. It is, and it's really long, too. Uh, just under 250 yards off that back tee. Slight bit of elevation, but uh, you can see from the tee, obviously, where you don't want to go and where you do go. Um, if you're a little, uh, well, tender of heart, then aim for the right side and avoid all that water down the left. Okay, safely aboard. A lot of movement coming left here. This for birdie. Nah, the pace was okay, but that needed to be started a bit further out to the right. Okay, that in for par here at the eight. And he's gonna remain at minus 21. Finishing up the front side here at Wolf Creek with the 390 yard par four ninth. Bit of a breather here, time to pull out the big stick and let it rip, find the fairway, and a birdie is definitely in play. Looks so simple when you're going good, doesn't it? And that is yet another solid drive. What a nice shot, right on the green, and a pretty easy putt on the way. This would be a good way to finish off the front side. Hmm, they'll say he should have made that. Just a tap in there for par at the ninth. 
and that will be a 31 on the front side, five under par. The par four 10th, and Frank, what's the right way to attack this hole? A little deceiving off the tee here, Rich, because you don't see the full width of the fairway because of the desert down the right side. Uh, you do see those bunkers down the left. 280 yards take them completely out of play. And it's a fun green, obviously protected by those bunkers on the left and that little one-pop bunker on the right. But uh, be aware of the contours of this green and uh, just be aware to where they stick the flag. Uh, in that front section, then this is certainly a birdie hole. Turning out to be a wonderful Saturday of golf here, and this, another fine tee shot. Now this from 166 yards out. Well, not super close, but uh, safely on the green. Birdie putt coming up, and we go to Iona Steven. Yeah, it's just a wee break in this one from right to left. The focus has to be this slope. It's going to be slow. You need to give it a wrap. Oh, yes. Plenty of pace to get up that slope. It is in for a birdie. That means they'll get it to 22 under par. Here now at the 215 yard par 3, 11th, another elevated tee shot, meaning it usually plays shorter than the yardage. A miss right is definitely better than a miss left. That one, safely on the putting surface. About 17 feet on this putt. Yeah, that's good putt. A birdie here at one. He's gonna move to 23 under par. Down to the par 5, 12, pretty big hole with a really big green. And a really good uh, blue area to the left called water there. That's to be avoided off uh, this tee, that's for sure. A good try, drive that avoids all of that. And then the, the hole is certainly reachable, but uh, as you can see, water creeps in again back wide on this hole. So just don't get too cavalier here. Um, a 5 wouldn't be the worst score. I know you want better, but uh, believe me, seen many of 6s and 7s racked up here at 12. So that ball nestles down in the rough. Just got away a little bit on that tee ball. Really hit that second shot on the button to this par five, but Frank couldn't get it to stop. Yeah, too good, too long, sadly. Perfect roll right there, right to the edge of the fringe, and it's into the bottom of the cup for an eagle. Up next, another short par four, 350 yard, 13th here at Wolf Creek. It is a dog leg to the right. Big hitters might be tempted to cut the dog leg and go for the green, but buyer beware. Miss right 
and your ball is gone. No laying up with that swing. This is all or nothing. So now with the ball below his feet, got to be careful this doesn't go right. Now this for another birdie. Mm, confidently done there. That's in for birdie here at 13. And with that, his score moves to 26 under par. Certain holes in golf, you just want to pull out the phone and snap a picture and just soak it all in. This is one of those holes, the 14th at Wolf Creek, 444 yards. Spectacular, isn't it? Turning out to be a wonderful Saturday of golf here, and this, another fine tee shot. He split the middle of the street on this one. He's going to have a good look. Second shot. No issues there. It is a par here at 14. He's going to stay at 26 under par. Here at the 15th hole here at Wolf Creek, a bit of a breather here. Nice, short par three. You don't want to miss this green. No, that's, that's the temptation there. If you try and bite off a little too much because it looks a little too easy, then a bogey here and you're in a bad mood all of a sudden at Wolf Creek. Okay, center of the green, good shot. Chance now for another birdie. 
Well, and he's had great conversion on putts like this. Even when he's not close to the hole, he's left himself with very makeable opportunities. Well, like the old saying goes, never up, never in, and that definitely applies here. Okay, a solid par here at the 15th, and he'll remain right where he is. Now to the 16th hole, and Frank, another good scoring chance. If you can avoid the confusion off the tee, it looks like the hole might be a dog leg, then is it a carry? Um, it meanders from one way to the other, but really when you actually break the hole down, it's virtually straight ahead. Those two bunkers uh, in the driving distance, they frame the hole nicely, so play it as a straightaway par four. It should sit up beautifully for just a little short iron oh, yeah. and perhaps a birdie opportunity. Well, I just give a couple more holes to finish me. Thing. Oh yeah. Yeah. Turning out to be a what, nine old thing. Saturday at golf here and this another fine tee shot. Oh yeah. This is why you practice these shots from under 100 yards. You've bombed your drive. Now it's time yeah. for a touch shot. Zip one in there close. Yeah, it's just the quick play thing, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Similar, yeah. Yeah. That's a good shot, and yeah. more importantly, too, a green in regulation, so birdie chance. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah, as long as they don't jump out on you. Okay, that'll be a par here at 16. He'll stay right where yeah. he is. Yeah. <laughs> Out of the 17th, part five here at Wolf Creek Golf Club. Yeah, dog leg left. Tee shot obviously yeah. has to be uh, played short of that, that creek down there. It's still going to be a reachable hole, even though this hole's sort of around the 550, 560 mark. But because you've got to play short of that, that oh, well, uh, yeah. stream, it's going to leave a lengthy yeah. second shot. Yeah. And you've got to get the distance right on the button. All right. Yeah, they've been putting clock on. You know, Ace is the wild. We had to get two games of in today. And he said they've been, Pete, we've been playing, they've been Just putting the clock you know, on. This point around, you're trying to find a rhythm. They said, if you don't take your time to set up, yeah, you ain't got no pace, chance. That's what they did, right there. Michael Flood, the Ace is the wild. He's on the, um, yeah, on the, um, when they get together, he said, but he, Jumps in with people, they've been putting a clock on them. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know how you say it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Man, Frank, it is one thing to stack cars on a sport track, but Eagles, this is an incredible performance. Well, well, I'm used to birdie feasts, but eagle feasts? I didn't think you could do that. Mm. They can't set them, can they? They're just random, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, that's a good stroke. Doesn't quite get the reward of the eagle, but a birdie would be a, a nice consolation, right? Nicely done. Must be Jesus setting them up. <laughs> That's going to move him to 27 under par. Yeah. 18th hole, and Frank, again, yeah. a good scoring opportunity. Short par four. Yeah, if you looked at the scorecard, you'd think you could drive the screen, but uh, one quick look at the trouble in front and to the right of the screen, and you realize that's probably not the prudent play. Really, something 230, 240 yards off the tee in that vicinity is going to leave you uh, just a flick wedge into this green. It is a rather narrow green, but uh, from that distance, 
You expect yeah. to hit it close. Sure. So from a tight lie, this his second from just short of the green. Oh, um, I, this, Ace has said, um, um, his, his missus is, um, uh, friends with the EA, one of the EA devs, and he's, he's been telling them all that's coming in. They said they're doing everything they said they were going to be, uh, Ryder Cup as well. But he said they've got four more courses ready to come in. So they're coming. So they're all coming. So. What? Look at this. Look at this quickly. Is it about down time? No, watch, watch. end it back to back birdies at 17 yeah. and 18 and that won't quite get them into the 50s but that's quibbling this is a round 28 under on the third round the putt that was it's an eagle and this sensational play continues on this backside this is a cool finishing hold here at wolf creek just 307 yards a shorty and it's probably a fairway wood or a hybrid off the tee what presents a problem that approach shot waterfall on the left it looks nice but you just want to stare at it you don't want to hit your shot there deep bunkers and rocks on the right and a funky green that is really a challenge this is an excellent finishing hole oh for the cart part it's much better off now though so the great tee shot left him here now his second from relatively close range that hit the flag stick. Chance now for another birdie. Just going to sneak on by. Okay, safely in for his par at 18. And this will be a strong final round score of 67. Frank, unquestionably a satisfying victory for our featured player. Uh, you won... 15 times on tours around the world, including the PGA Tour. What's the significance of the second victory? It's a great question, Rich. And I think that to answer you simply, it's huge. But to sort of uh, detail it more, the first one, there's always question marks. People tag around, is it a fluke? Were they lucky? Did they chip in on the last? So you work just as hard, if not harder, for the second one. And then when that happens, you feel validated and you feel finally over the hump. So that'll do it for my partner here in the tower, Frank Navalo. For Nota Begay, Iona Steven, and all our crew, Rich Lerner saying, we'll see you next time on EA Sports PGA Tour.